Hey guys, welcome or welcome back. You're with me, Jess McGovern, international multi award winning poetry photographer. Goodness me, it's been a long time since I said that. And I know it's been a hot sec since I last uploaded a video, but this one is really, really, really important. I need to add a helper video to help all of the students who are joining the equine photography online course to load up some of their included goodies. So we're going to cover two things in this video. We're going to talk about how to load an action or an action pack into Photoshop. And then we're also going to talk about how to load up a brush pack into Photoshop. Okay. So we're going to talk about both of those things. We're going to start up with actions and then move on to the very exciting set of brushes. So one of the actions that I've popped in for some of the modules inside the equine photography course is a frequency separation action. Now the frequency separation action is essentially a file that has got a .atn after it. So any action that you have will have .atn after it and to load that up into here into your actions section of Photoshop all you need to do is go into your actions go and click on the four little lines in the top corner here and then all you're going to do is just click load actions when you've clicked load actions you will have to go ahead and find that file ATN go ahead and click on it and then click open and what that's going to do is it's going to load up that action into your side panel now to have your side panel look like this, if yours currently is looking like this, then all you need to do is go ahead and up into that little four lines again, click it and select button mode. And then your actions will look like this. To run the action, then all you need to do is just click it. So the next thing that we need to talk about in this video is how to load up brushes. So a brush in Photoshop is essentially, let me just go ahead and give you a a demonstration of that. Um, a brush basically just means that you can paint stuff. We have made some brushes because they're uh, realistically absolutely vital for equine work, specifically things like studio work. And therefore to load them in, all you need to do is have your brush selected, go into your brush tools here, go into this little drop down here and select import brushes. When you click that, you then need to go ahead and find your brushes. Okay. So the ones that are included within this course in some of the modules are the Jessica McGovern equine brushes. So you just want to go ahead and select that and then open them up. So when you've loaded up those brushes, you'll see them in your little brush panel here and you've got manes and tails, coat and texture and strands. In terms of actually going ahead and using these brushes, all of that is covered inside of the online course. Let's say we were wanting to just go ahead and draw some mane or tail detail in here. You can see how we're laying down those hairs to go ahead and make a mane. So you can't really see it on this, which is a good thing, but I am able to tell you that this is not real mane and this is not real mane. Up here, all of this needed to be recreated and that's utilizing some of these brushes. So now you know how to go ahead and load up actions and brushes. Hopefully this was helpful for you. And if you're a student coming with us on the journey within equine photography, then I'll see you on the other side.